Yes. You're not you in know, a circle of trust. It's interesting when you look at Joe Flacco, Perfect. and people Perfect. say whatever Perfect. they want to say about Joe. Wow. You know, I don't think he's had the help this year with, with you look, when you look at the Baltimore offensive line. Last few weeks, he's starting to ultimately elevate his game. You know, he's not turning it over like he was earlier in the campaign. And I think finally on offense, your Ravens, Chris, starting to develop a bit of an identity. Yeah, well, there was a lot of change in the beginning of the season. We lost some key guys and uh, some guys left the football team so Joe has had to establish a new rapport with the new cast of characters um, but you got to give a hats off to those guys you know Torrey Smith stepping up and then Dallas Clark Brandon Stokely coming in big form Ed Dixon uh, Marlon Brown those guys have been there to step up in the absence of Anquan Bolden and, and Dennis Pitta and so you're starting to see Joe kind of get into the groove with those guys and you know hey that's why they pay him the big bucks mm -hmm. right yeah but, but yeah. <laughs> hit on something like 100 years old <laughs> hit on something big and I'm not trying to sabotage your quarterback but I, I do have to keep it real he's been he's been pretty bad and the money that he's getting he's the highest paid quarterback in football Peyton Manning adjusted I know he's Peyton Brady's doing the same thing I the wildcat to me is almost an, which he hates and, and mm -hmm. we know mm -hmm. is almost an acknowledgement he's not as good as he needs to be is well, that fair well here's the thing I'm gonna say this last time I checked they pay you for winning Super Bowls Okay. Not, not just what your regular season record is. Playoff if you look at Joe straight. Flacco, he's been in the playoffs. Yep. Every year he's been a professional. Uh, he's gotten to at least the second round of the yep. playoffs, I believe, every single year. And then he won the Super Bowl last year. So that's what, that's what his pay is, Three is based wins. on. And this season, you know, he's still got a lot of football left. That's true. You obviously saying, that is this true. Football, we're, we're starting to you come You won back. a Super Bowl right. with the Giants. Do you get the sense that there are any kind of comparisons between your Giants team and this year's Ravens team? Because we went through the schedule before, and Bart and I were making a, an interesting point, because the Patriots left on the schedule. I don't even look. I don't even look at the schedule. I look at the Ravens. I look at you guys, what you're capable of. On defense, it's coming together. Uh, BT reference Joe Flacco. Do you see any parallels between the Giants when you won a Super Bowl and the Ravens? Well, I do, I, in terms of where the two football teams are at. And, and Bart, I hate to throw you under the bus with You're this. My dog. Oh, but it reminds it, me of that 2011 season when we were when we were facing off against the Jets and you know our season was kind of in the brink and you know it was the what yeah. would you call it the our, death match yeah ours the went death the match <laughs> <laughs> and the, way to pick a scab way to pick a scab essentially the loser of that game season was done yeah uh, a loser of that game their season was done and so uh, you know we went into that football game we were able to come out with a win and we were able to win against the Dallas Cowboys and get into the playoffs and run the table uh, I, I see a lot of those similarities with our football team we're at 500 right now we had to fight to get there right mm -hmm. now but. You know, we've got four games left. We've got two at home. Um, so I, I think we've got a tremendous opportunity uh, in front of us. Now it's up to us whether we're going to take advantage of it or not.